Coming up in today's quickie, how good is the BYD battery on the Atto 3? We haven't done a bottom cell balance on Eris's car for quite a while. Will the car conk out when we get to under 10%? Let's find out. Hey everyone, in today's quickie we're going to do a bottom cell balance on Iris's Atto 3. She hasn't done one for quite a while, I'm talking over 12 months. And you're supposed to do one every 3 to 4 months roughly to maintain good battery health. So I was a little bit worried about getting it under 10%. So very briefly, if you're not aware, you sort of do need to balance the cell so that the battery has some sort of memory about when it gets low. Otherwise you risk what's known as going off the cliff, which means that the battery level can fall quite dramatically. Anyway, let's have a look as I take the car out of town. I'm going to do a bottom cell balance on my wife's car today. So I've just been out of town. I'm down to 10%. I'm a few k's from town. Now, it hasn't been done for quite a while. She's probably let it go a bit too long without doing it. So I hope it doesn't drop off really quickly. If it does, well, everyone out there will be a witness to what happens when the car runs out of battery and it goes off the cliff. But hopefully that won't happen. So far so good, I've ticked over to 8%. I reckon I'll be about 7% by the time I get back. So that's a good, I think that might be the lowest that um, Iris has had her car. Gee, these Atto 3 batteries are great, I have to say. So I've just ticked over to 7%. It's been a nice, slow, steady decline. So no drop off, no issues. And like I said, this is the lowest that my wife's had her car. So let's go and put it on charge now. I'm just around the corner from my house. Yeah, we have the big fat recharge. So 7%, that ain't bad. Let's put some electrons in. Okay, so we've got that cranked up to maximum. And it's, of course, another great day for doing it. Another sunny day here in uh, early autumn not a cloud in the sky so a great day for charging so it's saying about nine hours to get to full there a very low percentage so that's good for the car to get down that low Atto 3 batteries I've got my tick of approval they're pretty good very robust and the green machine well it needs a clean it's getting pretty dirty what's going on and there you have it. That's a bottom cell balance done and dusted. Now I have done a full episode on this, so I'll put a link in the description. You can go and have a look at that. We'll go into it in much more detail. Otherwise, just make sure you get that battery under 10%. Do it a few times a year and have a bit of a backup plan in case you get into trouble and you need someone to help you out. That's your quickie for today. I hope it was as good for you too as it was for me. Alright, take good care out there and we'll see you soon with more on Down Under EV Adventures. Bye for now.